guys, my name is Jasmine McDonald. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new here, hello, you may as well hit subscribe because you're already here anyways. So today's video is going to be a really chilled yoga slash Pilates for dancers. And if you guys follow me on my Instagram, I was recently involved in a car accident. So my body hasn't been 100% and I'm just trying to get back to normal, healthy range of motion and feeling my absolute best self. So I thought I would take you guys along with me because it's honestly been hard period and um, having your support and you guys with me has actually helped me a lot through the last couple of days since the accident happened. So again, it's just going to be really chill, stretching, moving, nothing crazy. So if you're feeling rough, if you're sore, if you're just getting back to movement after an injury, this class will be perfect for you because it's going to be really, 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 really relaxed. So why don't we just get started on all fours? We're going to start with some cats and cows. I find a lot of the tension that I hold is in my upper back, so I'm gonna try to release that with you guys. So as we exhale, let's bring our belly button to our spine, curl our chin to our chest into a cat. And on the next inhale, let's press our belly button down, curling our spine, looking up, opening up our shoulders and our chest to a cow. Again, a nice exhale to a cat. And another inhale to a cow. Let's do it two more times. Exhale to a cat. And inhale to a cow, last time. Exhaling to a cat. And inhaling to a cow. Finding a neutral pelvis, tuck your toes under, send your hips up, pedal out into your downward facing dog. Take any moment here, you might want to walk out your feet, lift one heel, lift the other heel, let your shoulders fall down, press them back forward, rocking forward and back, stretching your calves, maybe taking your hips from one side to the next side. Let's lift both heels on the next inhale. And on the next exhale, I want you to bring your knees towards your armpits for three, two, one. Press your shoulders back down, lift your pelvis and put your heels down on the floor. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift your heels off. And exhale, bend your knees towards your elbows or knees towards your armpits, keeping your heels high. Inhale, send your tailbone up to the sky and exhale, place your heels down. Take your feet together. And we're gonna walk our hands back towards our feet in a forward fold. You can passively take this here, bending your knees, maybe hugging the backs of your hamstrings. Releasing all the tension from your head and neck. I know I'm just raising it now and realizing how much tension I'm really holding there. Good, let's place our two hands down, sending your hip bones up to the sky, fingers are opened, hands are planted down flat on the floor. And let's walk our hands towards a high plank keeping your knees off the floor. I know we're starting with a little core activation here, but I like to get warm and then stretch it out by the end. So keeping a long, tall line from the top of your head all the way down to your heels. And let's tap both knees down to the floor and tap them back up. A little core activation here, making sure it's all turned on. Knees down to the floor and back up. Let's do that five more times. Knees down to the floor and back up. Four and up and three and up and two, and up, and one, and up. Put your knees down, untuck your toes, and come off your hands, roll at your wrists a little bit, take your ears to one shoulder, chin to chest, roll to the other side. And let's do that one more time. Still rolling out our wrists, rolling out the top of our head and our neck. Now clasp your hands together, act as if you're pushing something away. And on the next inhale, I want you to press your upper spine backwards, creating a nice C curve. Inhale, take your hands up above your head. Exhale, we're gonna bend to one side, opening up our shoulders, letting them fall down from our ears, looking up to the sky, finding a nice deep side bend. Bring it back up, inhale. Exhale, bring it to the other side. Good, bring it back up as you inhale. Exhale, put your hands down. Roll your wrists to face, or your palms to face you and your wrists to face the floor and just rock forward and back just to roll your wrists a little bit here. And let's point our fingers towards each other, rolling side to side. You can open up your stance a little bit on your knees. Good. Now tuck your toes under again. We're gonna go back to our downward facing dog, setting your hips back up. On the next inhale, raise your right foot up to the sky and just roll your ankle a couple of times here. Popping and cracking maybe. Try to keep your hips as square as you can. And now you can open them. Still flexing and pointing your ankle. 
On the next exhale, let's bend our knee, looking towards our toe, opening up our hips, twisting our spine. Inhale, bring the elbow back square. Exhale, step your right foot through into a low lunge. Take your hands off the floor onto your knee, or you can put your back knee down. And just sit here for a moment. Open up your back hip. Breathing the whole time. Breath really, really helps with any tension or any pain you might be going through. Good. Place your left hand forward and your right hand on your right knee. Lift your toes or tuck your toes under, lift your knee off the floor. And we're going to twist towards our front leg. Good. Looking to the back of the room or to the ceiling, spreading your palms wide. And now place your hand on the inside of your front arch. And we're going to flip our hips towards the front in a side lunge. This is my favorite lunge to do. Pointing and flexing your side toe. If it bugs your ankle to do that, just keep it pointed or flexed. And let's pivot towards our front leg one more time. This time, keep your hands on the inside of your arch. And we're going to step forward with our back foot and flex our front foot so we can feel a nice deep hamstring stretch. And now I want you to point your back foot towards the front of the room or the back, depending on where you're facing. Sit your hips further back, lift your arm to the ceiling, finding a nice openness in your front inner thigh, feeling a twist in your spine in this triangle pose, facing our hips to the front, slightly tilted. Pivot back forward, place both hands flat on the floor, send that foot back, and we're going to put the knee down and do a little spinal twist, sitting on our butt with our foot crossed in front of our knee, grabbing the outside edge of our knee and our shin and twisting our spine. I know I'm facing the back of you guys, but my left knee is still bent and I'm sitting on my left hip and my right hip. Make sure it's not lifted. Now stack one heel on top of your knee, one knee on top of your heel and walk forward. Good. We're going to swivel back to our forward lunge. And we're going to sit our hips halfway back, flexing your front foot, bring your nose towards your shin. Again, today's nice and easy, so really listen to your body here. This could be perfect for a Sunday morning or any kind of morning, just waking up your body, stretching a little bit. If you need to modify it all, you can use two blocks on either side. Just keep your back as straight as you possibly can. Now shift your hips back forward, tuck your toes under, send that foot back up to your three-legged dog and place it down. On the next inhale, let's lift our left foot. Same thing here, just rolling at your ankle. Finding dexterity throughout your ankle and your foot. Keeping your hips relatively square. Now we're gonna stack them and point our toe towards the opposite side, looking towards that foot, opening our hip. On the next inhale, let's bring it back to neutral. And we're gonna step it forward to a low lunge. Either hands off the floor here if you wanna do a little bit more activation, keep your knee off the floor, or put it right down. Breathing here. Sending those hips forward, guiding that front hip back and that back hip forward. Good, now place your hands flat on the floor, tuck your toes under, send your knee up, and lift your back or your left hand off the floor towards the ceiling, facing your front leg. Nice spinal twist here. Try to keep activation in your back knee and lift your back knee by activating your quad. Good, now weave that hand on the inside, put your knee down, and we're gonna flip to face the other side now in a side lunge. Finding openness in our hips. Again, this is my favorite stretch. Feels super nice. Just make sure that your knees not past your toes, both heels, or just your one heel is down. Obviously both heels are touching the floor, but just really make sure this one that's bent isn't lifted so you're not like this. And let's pivot towards our front facing lunge one more time. I can't remember if we did triangle pose first, but let's try it on this side. Tucking your toes under, sending your hips up to our triangle pose. 
We're gonna take the inside hand or the outside hand of our outside foot, take it towards the inside, pivot our toes to face the inside of our legs, parallel. We're gonna flex our front foot, twisting our spine to face the back and shifting our hips back. So here, it's not forward. We're actually shifting them back to feel a nice openness and stretch in our front inner thigh. Good, pivot back forward. Face your back toes forward, front toes go down. Send your leg all the way back to a low lunge. Take your moment here to stretch. And we're gonna shift halfway back, flexing our front foot. Maybe grabbing that front foot, putting your elbows down, nose towards your shin. And we're gonna shift forward one last time. And this time we're gonna sit on our right leg, crossing our left leg over. Foot is planted on the floor, we're just twisting, using our hands to help guide our spine to face away from our top leg, or I guess towards. I think away because it's going this way and we're going that way, but it's technically towards that top leg. Let's take that heel stacked on top of that knee, that knee stacked on top of our heel, and walk forward. Don't know what it is, but holding a lot of tension in my glutes today. I haven't done exercise since the accident. Um, but I definitely feel a lot of tension in my glutes, I think, in the car. When something like that happens, you're just shocked and every muscle clenches and you're not always aware of tension you might hold in stressful situations. And that goes for everything too, if you're in a meeting, maybe holding tension in your jaw and your upper back, so it goes for everything. And let's pivot back forward to our forward lunge. Tuck your toes under, send that leg back up to a three-legged dog and put it flat on the floor. Good, I want you to lift your heels here and just walk back and forth on each foot, maybe flexing one foot, flexing the other foot. Just finding range within your demi point, your toes, it's really good for dancers to do. And now walk your feet towards your hands in a full forward fold. Maybe grabbing the back of your calves here, pull yourself closer. Why don't we try bending your knees and stretching them, keeping your chest close to your thighs. And let's sit down all the way on our bottom. So laying down all the way on your back, place your feet a little bit outside because I am holding a lot of tension. I'm gonna take them a little bit outside so rather than just parallel where I would overactivate them, I'm gonna take them a little bit outside, also take some stress off the knees for me. On the next exhale, I want you to peel through your spine, lifting your pelvis all the way up. We're gonna lift our heels off the floor, take our hands to the sky, and just hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I want you to flex your toes up to the sky, and we're gonna pulse up here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's lift those heels back up and slowly roll down through each and every vertebrae. Take your knees to your chest and extend your right leg down to the floor, keeping your left knee towards your body. We're gonna cross body twist here. So grab your right hand over top of the outside of your left knee and cross it all the way down to the floor. Feel a nice spinal twist. And breathe here. Bring it back to neutral. When we switch, we're gonna do a few bicycles here. Activate that core. It's really important for stability, strength, and flexibility. So lift your head and your shoulders off the floor, lift your bottom foot, and we're gonna switch. And switch, we'll add a few twists. We'll do 10 normal and 10 with twists. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now with the twist, take your heads, your heads, your hands behind your shoulders. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up here. Let's do some Pilates 100s. 
five, four, three, two, one, breathing in, four, three, two, one, breathing out, four, three, two, one, breathing in, four, three, two, one, breathing out, four, three, two, one, breathing in, two, three, four, one. I can't speak anymore, but you get the point. Five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Try extending your knees, pointing your toes, 25 degrees off the floor for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Now take your right knee into your chest. The same stretch. We're not going to repeat that core again. Don't worry. And now take your left palm on the outside of your right knee for a spinal twist. And bring it back to center. Place your feet flat on the floor. Feet together, let your knees open up into a passive frog, just laying here. Just letting everything relax. You can also go into a full straddle if you want to stretch out a little bit more. Take your hands on the insides of your calves. I'm really tight my glutes. <laughs> really tight my hips too and let them open up. Flexing and pointing your feet, maybe going from one side to the next. You can also take a happy baby here, taking the inside edges of your arches and pulling your knees down to the side. That should feel nice in your inner thighs as well. Extending one foot maybe and extending the other foot. But whatever variation you've chosen today, stick with it for two more breaths. Last breath. Good. Bring your knees together, bring your feet together, roll at your ankles. And we're going to rock up a couple of times, so grabbing the back of your hamstrings, just rock back and forward on your spine, giving a little massage. And very, very, very last stretch, take your hands behind your seat, lift your heels up high, we're going to push forward on our arches, simultaneously stretching the shoulders as well, the front of the shoulders. As we push forward, I want you to keep your hands flat on the floor and just inch your heels into your bum and your ankles over your toes. And very last one, send your feet forward, grab your toes and pull them forward. You can also go into a forward fold here and just relax. I know today's lesson or stretching slash conditioning exercises were very, very easy but this is really what I needed and I think a lot of people need in a lot of different stressful situations. So I hope this helped ease your anxiety or cope with your stress at the moment. I love you guys very much. I'm very, very, very grateful and fortunate to have you all with me. And I can't wait to start making content again like normal. I love you all very much. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and bye now.